Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I want to talk to you about two concealers. This is a tale of two concealers. There you go. Um, let's talk about the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer and the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Now, if you saw my products that surprised me video, you will not be surprised that I don't like shape tape. It didn't work for me. It's definitely a product that can work for a lot of people, but I'm not in that category of people. <laughs> so let's rewind it back a little bit, a few months, to a time when Tarte was canceled. Right whenever that scandal hit, um, Makeup Revolution swooped in and was like, wait, wait, here's your dupe. Now here's the thing guys, this is what I don't love about dupes things because just because something looks similar, um, people love to say that it's a dupe for it and I feel like oftentimes it is not entirely accurate. So just because the Makeup Revolution one had um, the large doe foot applicator, everybody was like, oh, this is perfect. Um, and I watched a handful of reviews from some of my favorite and some, you know, YouTubers that I've never really watched before. Kind of a mixture of reviews for that product and comparing it to Shape Tape. And what I got from that experience was that the product really isn't all that similar. Um, I don't know. I haven't tried it. I wasn't really interested in it after seeing the reviews. But I feel like a lot of people had not entirely great experiences with the product but in the videos they were trying to kind of force it a little bit you know they they wanted so badly to give the people what they want which is a good alternative for shape tape so even though it wasn't the same they were like oh you know even though it does this and that um yeah it's a dupe so <laughs> I don't, I don't really think that that is. However, and let me be clear, I don't think that the Flower Beauty one is a dupe for it, but I will tell you that it's better than Shape Tape in many ways. Um, now, there are some differences for sure in formula, in shade range, in price, in everything else, but just talking about the actual way that the product performs that's how I'm going to compare these in this video. I will, of course, give you the other information, but my main <laughs> but my main criteria for this is how does it perform? So go, I just keep grabbing that hair. <laughs> so let's go over the pricing, shade range, and all that first. So the flower one is $10. You can get it at Walmart, at Ulta, and at flowerbeauty.com. The shape tape is $27. It's at Ulta and Tarte.com. Now, the flower beauty one is 0.22 fluid ounces. The Tarte is 0.33. So there is a slight difference in size. Um, and then both of them come in shades from fair to deep. However, Flower Beauty only has six shades, which is definitely not enough. And even though it says like fair, light, medium honey, medium deep, deep, something similar to that, looking online at just the product page and seeing the tube um, change colors, the deep still looks to me extremely medium. Uh, I didn't look at actual swatches of it, so perhaps the image online was deceptive, but it definitely didn't look deep to me. And then Shape Tape goes from fair to deep, and it does actually look fair to deep. Um, of course, 14 shades for that is still not enough, but we all know that. We're going to move on. Um, so there's your main differences for those. Now, we all know what the Shape Tape applicator looks like. It's this big freaking mother trucker. Um, and then the Flower Beauty one has this kind of elongated slanted doe foot. So I want to just kind of first talk about formula differences. Tarte Shape Tape is very, very thick and creamy. And then the Flower Beauty is a little bit more liquidy. It still holds onto the wand, 
but it's a little bit more thin of a consistency and I feel like it spreads a little bit better and looks a little bit more natural on the skin. Now I do have comparisons to show you. You guys know I have really, really bad dark circles and I'm gonna insert a picture of what my face looks like right now. We're gonna ignore the pimple goatee. We're just gonna not talk about it. <laughs> but here's what my face looks like with no concealer on, no skincare, nothing, there's nothing on my face. Dark circles are clearly prominent and we're also gonna zoom in so that you can really see them up close also. Now, I think the way that you're seeing it, the one on this side, um, to whatever way this is, I, I can't remember if it flips around or not, but um, I will label it. One of my eyes I feel like is definitely today worse than the other. And I chose that eye to use the flower concealer on and I chose the lesser bad eye to use the shape tape on so that it didn't have to work quite as hard to cover, but you'll still see that there's a difference. So whenever we look at what my eyes look like um, with the concealer on, you can tell that the shape tape one still didn't cover that much. The um, kind of underside of the dark circle is clearly visible, whereas using the exact same or as close to exact as I can get um, amount of product of the Flower Beauty one, it's so much more diffused and illuminated and it definitely looks healthier. So even though I used the Flower one on the worse eye, I feel like it looks better than my better eye. You know what I mean? The one with the Tarte Shape Tape on it. <sighs> Guys, Shape Tape, no matter how much I apply, it just seems to blend away until it just doesn't cover the dark circle. I've also tried to use this as a spot treatment, spot concealer, not treatment, <laughs> and it just does not sit well on top of blemishes. Um, the blemishes that are still completely under the surface and just kind of red, it just kind of shears out until you can still see the red. And then the blemishes that are kind of drier, um, it really, really clings and looks terrible. So this is just not a concealer that works good for me at all. But if you want something, number one, cheaper from the drugstore, and number two, that works better and will actually make your dark circles appear less scary, then this one is the one for you. Ever since I started using this, I have not been reaching for my other concealers. You guys know I love the Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer. I love the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. Have not reached for either of those because this one is just so good. Um, I will say that because it is pretty illuminating, even though I don't see any visible like sparkle to it, um, on blemishes it looks a little bit jarring at first. You really do have to blend it in a lot more. Um, but for me, I go in with concealer first and then powder foundation. So the powder foundation kind of evens out um, the skin after that. But if you're someone who puts on concealer on your blemishes after foundation, um, you'll definitely have to blend a little bit more for it to blend in. Um, or get one that's much closer to your skin tone, whereas I like to have a little bit lighter, but not too light under my eyes. Now this also, it does not cover the dark circle completely. I have not found a single concealer that actually covers all of the dark circle. Um, you can see today, it's still a little bit visible here, but compared to the Shape Tape, it's a lot more covered than that one. So for me, this is a freaking bomb concealer. I will continue to use this and once I run eye, I would definitely continue to repurchase it. It is great if you can find your shade. If you can't, um, then you know, if you already still love Shape Tape, you know, then by all means stick with that one or whatever it is. But I noticed that Flower Beauty is recently kind of repackaging, rebranding, repositioning a little bit. So I'm hoping that things that don't have as much of a shade range, they do come out with eventually. Um, so there you go. <laughs> that is all the feels that I have for this concealer. I love it. It is amazing. Uh, just to tell you, I have mine in L1 to 2 Fair. Um, cause I feel like the light one was a little bit, um, too dark for me. It might actually be good as a 
skin tone concealer though. Um, but this, perfect for my under eyes. I love the way that it performs. It just spreads so easily. Also, I use this kind of sponge. I don't like a brush or my fingers under my eyes um, with this or most concealers, but I use the Miracle Eye Sponge from Real Techniques and it works amazing. Highly, highly recommend this if you can get it in your shade, if you can get it where you're from, and since it is drugstore, by all means, get it on sale too. So there you go, guys. There's my little review for this. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that you got some good information, and I hope that you were a little bit entertained as well. I will catch you guys next time. Bye!